Welcome to Games You Should Know By Heart, brought to you by Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Now, as you know, today there was a game played at the Grand Chess Tour, um, it's your move, between uh, somebody and somebody else. Kramnik and Aronian, your two favorite players. And Aronian got a lot of pass pawns, and so did Kramnik, but Aronian won. And I was talking to my son about this game, and that reminded us of the game between McDonald and the Bordenay, and their match went for several weeks, and it was several matches. And Le Bordenay was better, and I read the Wikipedia article about those two players and their match. You gotta read that, it's pretty funny. Yeah, those are some funny guys. And then it turned out Le Bordenay had to leave because creditors were looking for him in Paris, so he had to get back, okay? Um, they played in London. McDonald was from Ireland, I guess, and uh, Le Bordenay was from France, and so forth. And this is a very famous game which you need to learn by heart. Rawr, you two at home. Okay, and Kasparov annotated this game, and he said, very suspicious. Then Kasparov went to my chess game, he said, this game's great. So he changed his mind. Yeah. Okay, so this is Sicilian, and in this position, I've told all my students and all my relatives, don't play this move. Arjun? <laughs> That's the usual answer, I mean, in this position. Who? Yeah, yeah, e5, yeah, yeah. And, and e5 is reasonable, but don't do that. Okay, now, even Kasparov said every Russian schoolboy would play what move here? Who? Knight b5, yeah, that's, there's no other move. And there were notes to this game by, I think, Staunton or somebody even older, and he's like, retreat the knight somewhere, boo. Okay, white played the worst move, even worse than you guys would play. Although you guys would all play it. What's that? Yeah, now you're talking. Yeah. It's 1834. Give him a break. Yeah. Yeah, but it's 1834. So I was born in 1835. They didn't know that. All right. So taking either way is fine. PC. And bishop c4 is also not what I would play. I think black played perfect this game. White's not, not so perfect. Bishop g5 is ridiculous. All right. White's probably almost lost here. Queen e2 is terrible. Yeah, every move's terrible. The should have six is terrible. Yeah. Okay, but it's a famous game. Okay, so black has the two bishops in the center because white's played so well. All right, castles. A5 is really good move for 1834 because we got A4 coming and we got bishop A6 coming. That's pretty good for 1834. That's pretty nice. Now, I read about these players, and it was 1834, so it's probably all lies that Le Bordenay would move very quickly, the Preston style. He would think a few seconds to move. They said McDonald occasionally would take an hour or two on a move. Okay, very suspicious. Their games took several hours. Then they said McDonald was exhausted and would go to bed immediately. Le Bordenay would stay all night at the chess club playing chess with everybody. They said often playing 30 or 40 games after this game, like just with everybody. And he'd be up drinking and so forth. The other guy would be dead asleep. But yeah, well, he's French. What do you want? Okay, so a5, c takes d5, winning a pawn. No. Now bishop a6, I can play bishop c4. Yeah. Now I'm against this. I don't like trading the e pawn for the c pawn, so I'm furious. Okay, now good for black. It'll be really good for black later. It's good for this game. No. Rook d1 with subtle threats. No, very subtle. d4, c4, which is... Yeah, terrible. God, what a bad move. Um, I had a game once in 19... Oh, they don't know. 95. It was 95. And I even know the opponent and where the tournament was, and I can show you the game. Man, truth hurts. And uh, in a similar position, my opponent played c4. Ugh, horrible. He should have played c4 to c3 later. I've shown that game, but you guys forgot. You really forgot at home. Yeah. You don't even know who I am. You think I'm Eric Rosen. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> so C4, that's, you can't do that. Ugh. Oh, come on, you gotta like put pressure on this pawn or block it or something. Okay, C4 is terrible. Queen B6, Bishop C2, and it was 1834, so black got mated. Oh, no. All right, Bishop E7, Knight D2, Rook E1, Rook E8. Everything black does is great. Bishop D8 is great because it Retreats, yeah. And what's, what's that? That's right, and guess what? 
And what's and what's black's next move going to be? F5. Yeah. Then black's doing pretty well. So black has the sender and two bishops. C5, queen C6. Uh-oh. Never play. I don't know what he played, but I'll be played F3. Then I look good. Yes. I had no idea what he played. So I was thinking, if he doesn't play F3, he's going to get mated. So I better play F3. All right, bishop E7, taking a pawn. White says, no, you can't have that pawn. And F5, as suggested by me. Yeah. Now, high-level games today, you don't see positions like this. Because white sort of said, here's the center, here's two bishops. You know, they don't do that now. Basically because of games like this. They're like, man, that ain't no good. Stop giving all that stuff away. All right, queen c4 check because it was my chess camp and they like to check. Bishop a4, queen h6, bishop takes e8, f takes e4. Confusing the audience. Okay, so white's up in exchange. But black has all these passed pawns, f3 is hanging, the bishop is hanging, two bishops, and his name's cooler than his opponent's. That's not even his whole name. He has a lot, a lot more. Really? Yeah. Actually, his name's Pele. Well, his, name, <laughs> his name's Labordine, but they could put the, you know, Dene. So, got to be a good joke in there somewhere. All right. So, c6, e takes f3, confusing the audience. Oh, wait, I meant me. What's going on here? I need an adult. Uh, I guess if he takes, I go check, 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 mate. Yeah, that's pretty good. So he didn't do that. So my analysis in my head was queen here, check, and then check, and then I prefer black. <laughs> yeah, and then I don't know if rookie two is right, but it's good enough. Yeah, and then you keep checking, repeat, and then here, oh. yeah, and then, and then here, and then mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm mean. All right. <coughs> right, Arjun? Right. That's theory. Yeah. yeah. That's the game McDonald Labordine. All right, so after EF3, black, white played rook C2, which I guess stops all that nonsense. <coughs> Check, king H1, bishop C8. Always, Always, retreat. Always retreat. Right. Now, I don't like white's anything. Man. I like this, but I like this, 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 this. I like this, this. King's pretty safe, bishop's hanging. Okay, 700 pass pawns. <clears throat> okay, bishop d7, f2, pretty strong. Rook f1, d3, uh-oh. Here comes the shack attack. Rook c3, bishop takes, pawn takes, e4. It's funny because in the game today, between Kramnik and Aronian, Kramnik actually queened his pawn. Yeah. And then Aronian had 700 pass pawns, so truth hurts. <coughs> very similar. And Aronian sacked the exchange. So, very similar, except even Aronian's position wasn't this good. Or was it? It's pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. <coughs> Queen c8 and black resigned. Oh, no, wait, black won this game. That's a pretty cool game. You've memorized it so far, right? It's the games you should learn by heart. You with some crazy comment. Yeah. Who? Yeah. That's your crazy comment? Yeah. That wasn't very crazy. You gotta work on that. After queen e1, if black plays queen f8, what should you always play? Always play bishop f8. Right. I don't know what he played. Bishop d8, that stops everything. Now you got nothing, right? right. Yeah, queen e1, rook c1 resigns. Probably black resigns, white resigns, but yeah. All right, queen c4, queen e1 recommended by Arjun. Rook c1 recommended by me. d2, man, the truth hurts. This is good because when they play the next game of the match, set up for the next game, yeah, those pawns are getting close to where they're supposed to be. And white's pawn on d7 is there, too. That's good, too. All right, queen c5. I don't see the threat. I said I don't see the threat, and you're supposed to say the threat for white. All right, so he's threatening mate. That's usually a good defense to your opponent queening. Rook g8, safe. Man, rook g8, bishop d8. White doesn't have a lot of counterplay. He stopped the maid. He stopped the pawn from queening. Correct. In bug house, white's doing well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got a knight. Boom. Done. Ah, Nakamura style. Mm. Nobody? Come on. My best <laughs> joke of the day. All right. Rook d1, draw greed, stalemate. <laughs> exactly. E3. 
the truth hurts. So this is a very famous game. I don't play over the game too often. I just like the end, which is we're getting close to the end. Yeah. Now, generally, at the very top level of chess, when these kinds of things are about to happen, for example, the Cavavalanche game between, I have lectured on that game. Come on. Come on. Come on. I lectured on the game. I even said one of the guy's names. Come on. Okay, Gufeld Kavalik, Student Olympiad, I don't know, 62? Am I right on the internet? Am I? Come on, you, wrote, you put the descriptions in. Was it 62? Yeah, you don't know. Now, what's funny about that is Kavalik is a US grandmaster, but he wasn't then. He played for a country that no longer exists. Yeah, Czechoslovakia, good man. Yeah. Highest rate of players, always right. Weird. Yeah. Now, now what is it? Ah. Uh, Czechoslovakia, what's it now? Yeah, and? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty smart. No wonder I call on you a lot. Okay. Queen C3. Man, I don't, I don't like it. All right. Now the very famous ending, which you all know. You. Yeah, I don't know. He took something. Yeah, he won. Yeah. Yeah. And now, finally, the truth hurts. Yeah. What would have? He played E2. That's funnier. That's funnier. Does that win? Does that does that win or does that lose? E2 rook on D takes E1. No, I think you take with the other pawn. I play queen takes. Yeah, but I think you're still winning. I think you're still winning because you're up a piece, but that's complicated, that pass one. You made it really complicated. This was not complicated. Yeah. yeah. Also, you have to do this because it's really cool. Yeah, so Roni was trying to do this. He couldn't quite do it, but close. All right, so when I was a kid, I knew that position, but I never looked at the game because it was too complicated. Yeah, and somehow the guy with the black pieces, he won that match. They consider it six or seven matches because they played over weeks, and then McDonald won one of them five games to four, but Labordne won you know, a lot of games. Uh, the final score was like plus 20 or something for Labordne. Yeah. Why did they even play a match? They were considered the two best players. Unofficial. Yeah, very unofficial. Yeah. yeah. Don't you guys have unofficial stuff here? Like Ben Simon, you play two game matches. Those are unofficial. Right, unofficial, yeah. Yeah, they played forever. Yeah. They didn't play with the clock for obvious reasons. Arjun. There you go. No chess clocks then. Yeah, that's good. That's a good excuse. Yeah. They did they did have a digital clock, but they didn't like, I want to use that. Right? No. Okay. Now the next game is by my favorite player, Ben Simon. I mean, not Ben Simon. You? No. Okay, yeah. Paul Morphy, I can't make that joke, so we'll continue. That's right. Now, on the internet, it says his opponent, Schrufer, that wasn't his name. They just made up a name. It's like Doofus. It's like, yeah, it's like his name wasn't Schrufer. And one guy wrote, it's not Schrufer, he was his chauffeur. They just wrote Schrufer. I thought that was funny. Yeah. They had better jokes than I do. I don't know. Yeah. But everybody agrees his name wasn't Schrufer. That, that's just a joke. So I don't know. I mean, it does have like Rufus in the middle somewhere. Okay, so this is a famous game. You all know the end game, but you don't know the rest of the game. You know the end, you're like, oh yeah, I've seen that. So actually, they played a ton of theory, which in 1859 is pretty impressive. In fact, the executive director of said chess club, this one, plays this with white, like every game, this variation. And you can play queen a5 or queen h5, but the way black played is the way they play now. So. Yeah, this is considered like all best moves for everybody. That's why they'll play this with white, because this gives nothing. And here, both sides started playing badly because that was the style at the time. Yeah, they didn't play well then. They must have come to this club and stood outside. Man, that's tough to watch those games. Yeah. The games improved when it started raining, because then they stopped playing. There were fewer mistakes. OK, so in this position, raise your hand or yell at the answer, either way. What should black do? There's only one move good players play here. Exactly. Castles, and I think theory says black is slightly better, but this was 1859. 
They didn't shirk away from their responsibilities. Right, Arjun? Right. Yeah. So black played a bad move. Bishop b4. And now a lot of the moves were bad, but Morphe's bad moves led to a brilliant checkmate. That's cool. And black's bad moves led to a brilliant checkmate, which he got checkmated. <laughs> so knight takes e6 is very strong, but he played Morphe style. Rook takes e6. Right. And then what did Emeril say? Right. I wasn't even born yet. Didn't care. All right. And now, according to all engines, especially the one I used, uh, black has one move that equalizes. It ain't the move I'm playing. I'd play it now. But I might not even think of it during the game. Man, engines are tough. Castle? Yeah, castle's correct. <laughs> but you didn't tell me which way. Uh, Only one's legal? <laughs> Dude, F8's attacked. Dude. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, you're funnier than me. You're not even trying. Yeah. <laughs> Only one way's legal. All right. Are you in my camp? No. Okay. You sure? Because yeah. you acting like it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Which one? Over there? Yeah. yeah. Did you beat Yuri in the simul? Yeah, I didn't play that. I uh, good, good excuse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard Ben Lou drew him. You know why? Uh, why? It's all about the Benjamins. Oh, the Benjamins. Ben Boaz Really? That's even better. Yeah. At one point, there were five Bens in this building. That was, that was a good day. Yeah, I remember that day. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> so what is, other than the illegal moves suggested by Arjun, what is the best move? Ugh. See what I have to put up with? Queen F7 was played, but not good. What? The highest rated player always right. And also highest rated next to you. Yeah, king d7 is equal according to the engine. Very suspicious. The computer said so. Can I make that choke and not get in trouble? Hold on, let me think about it. You'll just edit it out. Yeah, it's a Maurice Ashley joke. So. <coughs> Has to do with the engine saying it's right. Yeah, okay. All right. <clears throat> so, but it was a smooth move. Smooth. And yeah, nobody got that. It was here, you know. All right, so queen f7, that seems reasonable. Bam! Okay, and then he moved his queen again, makes sense. <clears throat> and now Morphe played queen e2, which the computer doesn't like, and the reason it doesn't like it is funny. So black played bishop d6. What's the reason the computer doesn't like queen e2? Because black should play. Again, king d7. The computer says it's okay. And my favorite variation, it says after king d7, the reason queen e2 is not best is that after here, king c8 equal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. So you can see how Morphe's opponents didn't defend well because nobody would. Yeah. yeah. Pro probably. Okay, so his opponent played bishop d6, which is not good. And here, uh, Morphe should play like Morphe. Who would have thunk it? Like bishop d2, rook e1, etc. But luckily he didn't. Yeah, he played crazier, which is good for us. Yeah. King d7, which is... Is that horrible? Yeah. It is bad, but Morphe plays bad later, so it's good for everybody. Yeah, why would you play king d7? You're supposed to play it when it's good, now you play it when it's wrong. All right, now Morphe made a bad move, which is good for us, because it worked out really well. Right, Arjun? Yeah. Okay. Played knight f7 check. That's what you would have played. You know why you would have played it? You don't see queen takes knight. So you're like, mate. Oh, wait, that's my camp. I'm, I'm confusing classes, sorry. I talk, I talk camp here all day. Man, how many kids in my camp would say mate? More than all of them, 110%. That's what they give. Okay, so 96 check is just really good for white, but that's more fun. You guys know what black did. I wouldn't take it. Wow, you wouldn't take it. What would you do? Resign? That's your other option. All right. But it's, he's not winning anymore, so you should take it. All right, and then he played the obvious move. Bam. Yeah. And then in this position, black went too far. This position, according to the engine, is equal. equal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What is this game? 
It's a chess game. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so uh, he played king c a double question mark. King e8 is the equalizing move. Very suspicious. But you know, it's funny because king d7 might be okay, but I doubt it. It's, it's funny because people make fun of Morphe's opponents. They were terrible. But the moves that are correct, like nobody would play. Like, what do you want from them? Right? What would Adam Lambert say? Anybody? Arjun. No, the correct answer was, who's Adam Lambert? That was the correct answer. Yeah, you messed that one up. Yeah. Also, who's Tiger Woods? I would have accepted that. <laughs> but I would have accepted that. Yeah. You know who said that? Talia. She said, who's that? And I tried to explain, and she's like, nope, nothing. Yeah. yeah. I tried to help her out. I hit her over the head with a golf club, but it didn't, nothing happened. Yeah. Then I hit her again, and she was fine. Even number of times, and you're fine. Right, Arjun? Who? Who? Yeah, that's uh, Chrissy. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah. What? You know, I, I've already made fun of you several times today. Give me a break. Okay, so after king e8 and or king d7, the game goes on. Not the move he played. Also, queen takes knight's not very good. Okay, so he played king c8, and this position you all know. That was funny because they're like, what? You know. <laughs> You know what they were thinking here? Do 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 do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then white won. You already know the way white won, so we can skip. Yeah. All right. So knight f8 check was incorrect, even though knight f8 check's fine. Yeah. Your your answer is just as good as the game. Very good. Yeah. I like your answer better because it it shows more indolence or insolence. One of them. Whichever one's funnier, right? Okay. Knight c5 check. Now most of you would go here. And then always repeat. I mean, don't repeat. Yeah, that's what I meant. And now, the problem with Black's position is he can only legally castle one way. That's the problem. That's, otherwise, yeah, it'd be all right. All right, so he played the obvious. Yeah, and you all know the rest. Yeah, and then knight c5 draw. I'd play knight c5, right? And then I, then I would play the right move. I'd play knight c5 first. Yeah, torture him a little. Yeah. Now, notice it's double check, and if you're not sure, then double check. Double check. Good. Uh. Okay, exactly. So king d8 allows mate in one, then that wouldn't be fun for anybody. And pawn takes is illegal, although recommended by the campers. So king b8 was played. Now I would definitely play knight d7. Always repeat. Yeah, and he played queen c8. Yeah. And black didn't see the rook that was here. And it was actually Isaac Schrantz, so he resigned and Schrantz wrote mate, or vice versa, whichever is funnier. Yeah. What happened? He made it and thought the guy resigned. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Okay, and then Black didn't resign like my opponents would. I can't believe when I'm meeting one of my opponents resigned. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't do that. That's, that's, that's unfair. When I played Ray Robson, he had mate one. I let him mate me. It's the only time he ever did it in his life. It's because he's not a good player. Okay, then knight d7 mate. Bam. And then what did Morphe do? Cry. Morphe cried? He, 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 he did what? Took a bow? What, who, who am I? What, what? You don't know? What? What did he do? He left. He went to Starbucks? Come on, Ben Stein, what did he do? Horrible. All right, so send in your answers at home to win a prize. One free year membership at the, oh. The correct answer, obviously, is whoosh, drop the mic. Yeah. Oh. Knight d7, mate. You guys do that a lot in your games? Sack all your pieces for mate? Yeah. That's all you ever do? Yeah. And then they were like, Rufus, Rufus, ah, Shroofer. And then that's who he played. Yeah. Very suspicious, but not too suspicious. So those are games you should memorize or learn by heart or whatever's funnier. Right, Arjun? Not here I'm not here next week. It'll be Josh Friedel. Josh Friedel. Bam. And you, you thought he wasn't coming, but he was joshing. Yeah. No, he, he, put, he put on Facebook and or Twitter that he's flying here right now. No. You with some crazy comment. No. That's right. He was like, Morphe's no good. Right. So Josh Friedel, you ain't no good. Bam. What happened last time we played? I actually don't know. Probably he won. I think he's beat me more than I've beaten him. Dang. All right. See you guys in a few months. Out.